show that it's a solid one. Three old silver coins. Do not look away. The first coin travels from the right hand into the left hand. We'll do it one more time. Watch and listen for the second coin. It travels just like that. In fact, remember this image. Two coins over here, one coin here. This third coin will happen in super slow motion. Or we can go back in time to when we had one coin here and two coins We'll do this one final time. Remember, the last coin is always the hardest, so pay close attention to it. Three, two, one. Just like that, the third coin travels into the closed left hand. That's all three coins from one hand to the other. So it'll come as no surprise to you that this trick relies on having a secret extra coin. To begin, start with the extra coin hidden in your left hand finger palm. That means your hand looks empty from the front, but secretly it's hiding one coin here. Hold the other three coins in your left hand fingertips and begin. Pass the three coins from the left hand to the right hand secretly retaining that coin in finger palm. And now, simultaneously, you're going to make one coin vanish from these three, and this one appear. To make this one appear, you just simply allow it to drop to your thumb and bring it to your fingertips. Okay, this. For this coin, under the cover of a wave, you're going to allow it to fall into your right hand finger palm, just like that. Okay, remember not to flash through the windows of your fingers. So that put together looks like this. Now the next move is you'll display these two coins here and say one coin travel from my right hand and into your left. And as you say left, you tap this coin to show that it's a solid coin. And as you do that, your fingers are going to naturally curl up like this in preparation for dropping this hidden coin from your right hand into Ramsey subtlety. It's a coin subtlety created by John Ramsey, which allows the coin to be hidden from view, although they can see the palm of the hand. Now you're going to repeat the first coin vanish with the right hand, like this. You can even twirl the coin for a flourish. And as you do so, you're simply just going to open this hand up and drop that coin and allow it to make a sound. wants to win a set of these exact coins. In fact, the very coins that I'm holding right now. Then if you would, then all you need to do is make sure you hit that subscribe button and drop a funny or any sort of comment down below and a winner will be chosen by next week's video. The winner from last week was, drum roll please, Eli Brennan. Congratulations Eli, drop me an email to hello at lloyd.tv and I will hook you up with sending you a Blackpool pack as mentioned in the last video. So congratulations Eli, let's dive straight back into the tutorial. At this point you have a coin hidden in finger palm in your right hand, one coin showing at your fingertips, and here you have two coins in your left palm. Now you're going to execute the most difficult move of the routine. You're going to allow one coin to fall forward and land in finger palm as you display both coins openly. So the coin is in the right position for finger palm but not there yet. And now you're going to close your fist up and as you do, you're going to kick back and allow this coin to shoot back and hit something like your watch or if you have any, uh, like if you put some moisture on your wrist, then it'll stick on the wrist. So it's kind of hard to do slow, but it looks like this. And that coin will now be hidden from view. Pretty 
practice in a mirror to see what your best angles are for making this coin hidden. The smaller the coin, the more hidden. The further back your watch, the more hidden. And the higher up your wrist, and the more tilted down this is, the more hidden it'll be. It looks like now there are just two coins in the fist, but this is the reality. You're going to take that third coin, or the, the coin from the fingertips of the right hand, and place it into the left hand fist, making sure not to flash this hidden coin. And now you say we're going to go back in time. You produce the coin from over here by literally just letting it fall onto the thumb, bringing it to your fingertips. And as you do so, you open the hand and allow those coins to fall back into as close to the same position as when you first displayed them, all while secretly retaining this coin from view. And now, you're going to draw attention to this third and apparent final coin. I like to do this by literally bringing it close to them. I say we're going to do this one more time and I sort of block this area from view because I'm going to need to kick this coin from my wrist into my hand. So I say watch the third and final coin and I'll bring it right up into their line of sight. And this just gives me enough cover for me to, and I can't, I, I literally cannot do this slowly, but I'm going to th throw my hand up and forward and it's going to cause that coin to come into the fist as I close my hand tight. To the audience, it looks like I've just done this with two coins. So I do that, and now the third and final vanish is essentially a French drop, but without the fake take. So for anyone that knows the French drop, it's the first move you'll learn in all of coin magic, and it looks like you take a coin and it vanishes. So you're essentially doing the French drop, but without the move. And you hide it by rotating the hand around like this. And the first time I seen this done was by Chris Kenner. And the subtleties that make this work is that it falls into finger palm, into that John Ramsey subtlety again. By having the hand upside down, it's an even stronger convincer that the hand is empty. Okay, so it goes like this. From here, all the attention jumps to this hand because they're wondering if it's there now. And this gives you all the time in the world to drop this hand down, maybe ditch this coin carefully into a pocket, and reveal these three coins. Three, two, one. Just like that, that third coin travels into 